Hey everybody, hello and good afternoon. Greetings from Russellville, Arkansas. All right, today is Tuesday, October 9th, 2018. The local time is 317. Temperature is uh, Eighty degrees. All right, we are headed for Conagra, which is um, just down the road here. I already got done fuel. All right, uh, the breakfast for today or lunch. Is a single cheeseburger from Wendy's, no pickle, extra onion, and a natural lemonade. I do have to confess, I do have to confess, yesterday, um, boy, that Mexican food was not good. Woo wee! I had, uh, Let's just say I was firing rockets all night long. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you, it just... I, my butt was on fire all night long. Uh, got me one more granola yesterday. And I ran, kind of ran all night long. I think I'm gonna go this way. Ran all night long, and uh, so I got me a bean to cup coffee. And oh boy, oh boy. What did I see? I saw a Truck's no right turn. Seriously? Now you tell me that? No one. Wonder why. So, um, I saw two slices of uh, cheesecake. Oh man, I tell you, it just. Yeah, 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 right? I just had to get it. Oh, 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 oh. we're gonna make a little U turn here. So yeah, um, the cheesecake, the bean to cup coffee, that was it. And then as I said, Wendy's single cheeseburger, no pickle, extra onion, and natural lemonade. I love Wendy's natural lemonade. Although I think it's really full of sugar, very sweet, but it's also very, very strong. Back up, back up, back up. He's going to make the right turn.
I forgot to say, I forgot to say, stay green, stay green. Anyway, um, we're going to be picking up a load here, and uh, this load delivers to Manchester, Pennsylvania on Thursday. Must have been those jalapenos that I <laughs> that I ate yesterday that just made me feel like I was a rocket. <laughs> rocket man. Unfortunately, we're not going to be picking up uh, on the last time we were here. We're, we're picking up on the other side. Instead, we're picking up here. I don't particularly like part of... There's so many... It's so crowded over here. Unlike over there, that's a good place to pick up a load. Zero Mountain, that's what they call it. All right, I already got my reefer set at minus 10. Tandem slid all the way to the back. And I better get my pickup number ready here. Although I don't think they need it here. I think they need it on the other side. All right, I'll catch you guys a little later. Peace. All right, let's go check in. Last time I was here, I uh, kind of jumped the gun and dropped the trailer and wanted to drop empty trailer places, only to find out that the shipper wanted me to take a dock door right away. So we're going to do it a little bit different today.
I thought that was our uh, our friend Juan, I think he was. I can't remember his name. Oh, I stopped at a rest area today. And uh, actually, I, I was running down the road and there was this driver. I passed him. He looked at me with a weird looking look on his face. I passed him about a mile and a half down the road. There was a rest area. So I went in and uh, little did I know, he followed me and I said, oh, I'm in trouble. Young kid, probably around 23, 25. He could have he could have passed for 18 year old. So anyway, he followed me and I was kind of, I was parking kind of on a travel way because there was a dumpster. And he followed me and I thought, oh, I'm on his way. So I kept going and as soon as I kept going, he followed me too. I said, uh oh. I'm in trouble now. And so he parked right alongside me and says, JBG Travels! I said, yep. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this guy will pull up so we can take his spot. How many times do you think a driver in his truck driving career goes up and down the stairs of, of a truck in a whole lifetime? Right? You guys ever think of weird stuff like that? I do. Alright, let me uh let me go check in and see what they say. Right back. Alright, we are to dock at door twenty two. Which is I think behind the behind me. problem is they want us to drop it and park over here Gotta be over there, right? Fifteen, there you go. This has gotta be twenty two right here. So the procedure here is, as you can see, they've dropped the trailer with the door closed. They open it from the inside.
burrito shop. Somebody's waiting. Come on, driver. Give me some room here, man. But it took a peek. I think we can do it. It was asking for the uh, shipper shipping. <laughs> That's a little bit deep. That's a little bit too deep there by Brian. These are my pair of uh, Gore-Tex. These are water resistant. Nothing worse than a wet shoe, right?
All right. They said they'll come out and get me in a couple hours once it gets loaded. Hopefully it'll just be a couple hours, right? We'll catch you guys later. Peace.